All right, something that's kind of been a little bit heavy on my mind lately is food storage and having enough food supply, being gluten-free can feel like super overwhelming in these situations. Like when COVID hit and the grocery stores were emptied, I'm like, what are Colby and I gonna do? Like what happens if we don't have the food that we need, we can't get the food that we need. So it kind of scared me. I did share back then um, my food storage, kind of what I kept on hand, what I try to save extras of, what I've tried to buy extras of. Um, I recently found this company called Thrive Life. So it's freeze dried products and they have everything like vegetables, meat, um, ev fruit, everything. So um, something that's kind of cool about their stuff since it's freeze dried, I'm going to show you a bunch of it. So all you have to do is add walnut and she threw together like this freeze dried sausage. And then we threw in some peppers and onion and I can't remember everything that we threw in, but she threw this all in. All she did. Okay, so after I found them, I actually went into their facility and met with this cute girl named Amber and she showed me all their stuff. She actually made me food while we were there. She made it out of all of this freeze dried product. Um, she has been, there is even freeze dried powder egg guys. So if eggs are super expensive right now, like they are, you could use this as a replacer, um, and recipes and ingredients as well. Um, and there's instructions on the back to show you how to do that. But, um, she made me an omelet and she threw together like this freeze dried sausage. And then we threw in some peppers and onion and I can't remember everything that we threw in, but she threw this all in. All she did was kind of put water in it to reactivate it, to make it like normal consistency and then threw it in an omelet. You're on. Okay, so we're gonna make a jar meal today. It's just like a freezer meal, but in a jar that can go in your cupboard. And it's amazing. <laughs> so we're gonna start out <laughs> with um, our sausage. So when you make a jar meal, I like to put the protein at the bottom and it's usually always a cup of protein. So you can take your favorite recipe and almost convert it yourself, but I'm happy to help. So we're gonna put a cup of sausage down at the bottom. And the next thing I like to do is our starch. So if you're gonna put pasta or rice, today we're gonna to put potatoes. We're gonna do a cup of potatoes. And we're making the ta cowboy taquitos. Cowboy taquitos. And you can, did you try one of these yet? No, I haven't. So those are freeze dried potatoes. You don't have to peel them or cut them or dice them. You just scoop it right in. And then we're gonna do our cheddar cheese. So we're gonna do about half a cup of cheddar cheese. And then from there, we're going to do chopped onions. So then in this one, you're gonna add cumin, um, salt and pepper, and uh, chili powder. Okay. And then that tell me how you show. cook it. How so we what, I would, what I would do is that I take this home, I'm making taquitos, I would take this jar out, I would pour it into a bowl. Okay. And I would, I'm not gonna heat this up because it's gonna heat up in the oven. If it was something like a soup or like a skillet, I would just dump it into a pan with the liquid. Okay. But with this one, I'm just going to put it in. I'm gonna add a couple. 